Believe it or not, guys, there was a lot riding on that putt. Man, that came out nice. The vibes are high. Oh my gosh. Every golfer's nightmare. Well, guys, it is 4.30 in the morning. I'm at the airport and I'm on my way to San Diego. We're going across the country and my goal today, break party golf course. I haven't booked a tee time yet. <laughs> Let's go. Well, San Diego, we are here. We got our coffee. We're about to make a tea time. Um, where I'm staying at is in Oceanside, California, which, looked at a map, Goat Hill Park is um, is right around the corner. So, that is where we're gonna be playing today. Let's uh, let's see what this bad boy's about. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've actually had golf balls here, never played it. So, Goat Hill, book a tea time, got plenty of tea times, 58 bucks, 18 holes, 120, that sounds great. Okay, okay, there we go. All right, tea time is booked. Go to Hill Park. Guys, the goal is under par. Can we shoot under par after flying from Augusta, Georgia to San Diego, California? Minimal warm up and go in there and shoot under par. Let's go. Before we get going here at Goat Hill Park, it is not your traditional 18 holes, you know, par 72, 68, 7,000 yards. It is par 65 and 4,500 yards from the tips. The front nine, which I'll be playing today, 31 is the par, 2,000 yards is the length. Basically, it's gonna be wedges and par threes and a lot of fun. So I'm really excited to kind of test my game straight from the airplane and a lot of wedges and a score club. So let's set the goal. Let's see if we can break 30. 200 par, 29. That's the aim. Scratch that. Uh, the aim is under par. I don't care if it's one or 10. Under par is the aim. Let's get it going. Hole one. Go to Hill Park. Let's go. All right, the key to hitting golf shots straight off a plane, no warm up. <laughs> you gotta go like 40, 50% and just play a big fade or a big hook or something to get in play with the driver. That's what I did. We got like 50 yards, 40 yards in this par four. We got a t-shirt, some Roback shorts on. <laughs> the guy said, as long as you keep your clothes on, you're good. So hole one, right from the get go, you can tell the vibe, it's all about vibes out here and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now let's go play some good golf. All right, we're off and running. Birdie on one, tough little par three here, my goodness. But if you're not a subscriber to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. We got a lot of fun stuff coming. I'm telling you, we have some groundbreaking, insane something that's coming. Like, it might not be insane, but I'm telling you, you guys are gonna wanna stay, tu stay tuned, stay around for what we're about to unveil, launch. Uh, it's gonna be exciting. Uh, but today, go to Hill Park. I'm telling you what, fun, tricky, sketchy little golf course. I mean, this thing's perfect. I mean, look at this green. Look how small it is. I mean, no room for air. We missed a short left, bad. Again, I got a caught up in the wind. We're down here, but not a lot of room for air. I mean, look at, just look at the views though. I mean, this is awesome. All right, hole three, a little risk reward. I mean, you see the pin right there, 290. But trees <laughs> looming. Uh, don't know what's right. So I mean, do we do we lay up or do we go for it? Well, it seems as though we laid up, but we got some tree trouble because we're on an upslope, which is going to shoot the ball higher um, to a back right pin with some tree trouble. So I mean. Gonna have to kind of keep this thing. It's also not just a golf course, it's a disc golf course as well. So that's pretty cool. And then, good shot, love that. Is able to control the trash? Double green, love it.
man, 200 through three. I hope the vibes can translate through this lens, this camera lens through the, the TV or computer screen because what I'm feeling out here, they're high. The vibes are high, having fun, which again, the aim of courses like this is not to wow you with condition or, or, or whatever else. It's come out here and have fun. That's what I'm doing. And so this course checks that box right off the get-go, three holes in, I'm having a blast. Also helps I'm playing well too. Also, if it looks like I'm not swinging full, I'm not. Probably about 70, 80%. Flew all day, no warm up. The, the body feels awkward. And so this is kind of simulating, not a fairway finder, but a fairway finder. Like we're just aiming it down the left, gonna trust that my body is gonna be reacting a little slower. So it's probably gonna start a little bit more right. That's kind of what it's doing. And so it's fun. These days are like 100% mental grinds. Trusting that I'm gonna be able to keep this driver on the earth. Anyway, that's that. So the reason we're out here in California, we're playing the first annual Twitch Golf Classic in conjunction with TwitchCon, which is pretty cool. We're gonna be crossing over with some non-golf content creators, uh, non-traditional golfers, so it's gonna be fun to kind of like interact and mingle and, and play some golf with people on a different platform, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, me and Wesley will be filming match number 20 while we're here. It's gonna be a precursor to what we got coming in a few weeks. You're not gonna miss it. But man, I might not be in a great shot, great shape here. Maybe driver was not the play. <laughs> Also, what you guys don't see behind the scenes, we got Mills in the FaceTime, we got camera, camera, tripod. Mills, you got any words of encouragement for me? <laughs> you got this. I got this, people. Never mind. They're, hey, we're good. Got this chip right here up the hill. Uh, tough little pin, though. Guys, the wind did not take that. Now, you'll see why I guarded a little bit more left and right when I get up to the screen. All right, so this is a uh, walk up to uh, hole five. This is why we were not messing around with right. I mean, look where this thing goes to. If it lands a little right, you can, you can end up over there. It's terrible. Instead, like we have this delicate little chip shot now, which if it lands here, I think it spins pretty close. So overall, like, hit the shot. They call this the freeway hole, and I wanted you guys to experience the sounds of the freeway hole. <laughs> no, but that one, a pretty solid strike, just a little late, a little late. So that caused my ball, my club face to be a little open at impact and start the ball kind of at the hole and fade instead of starting it, you know, 15, 20 feet left like I was trying to let it fade and let the wind take it. So pretty close, but again, a little in between clubs, a little late and um, yeah. But again, it looks like I'm missing on the correct side of the hole, it's about to go left, I'm in the freeway, like the whole fall. Anyway, potentially, potentially our first test of the day. Hole seven, must get up now. Not much, but you, you get what I'm saying. Oh guys, here we go. Tip me some more. Left to right, dog leg, 280. Ooh, -hoo. pins up there. Barely see it, but it's up there. Yes. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, the green cam has come in quite handy today. A lot of elevated greens. You guys are getting to see where the ball lands. Let's go. All right, so it's a short shot into the hole. But look, you cannot see the bottom of the pin. Blind. It looks easy on the surface, but actually a pretty tough little shot. Golly, that came out nice, but I think it's a little bit too long. Oh, it came out nice. Man, that came out nice. It's a little too nice. Whoa, way too nice. Yuck. what it comes down to. We're minus one playing the last hole. Par three. Birdie here gets us to 29. Two under mark. Deep breath. In, out. It's time. All right, so here we go. 127 yards down the hill. I mean, framed up perfectly to end on a birdie. Gap wedge. I just hit the pin. We hit the pin, on the fly. I just flew it into the pin. I just flew it in the pin. And it rolled, then it bounced off the green. Oh my gosh. Almost a hole in one on a legitimate hole. Oh my gosh. Every golfer's nightmare. Just beautifully struck shot, right at it. Lands perfectly on your number and just bye bye. <laughs> Dang it. There's the ball mark. I think it, it went ricochet off pin into there or either bounced Right there into the pin and then zoom. Golly. Calmly, ever so calmly strokes it in. Let's go. Believe it or not, guys, there was a lot riding on that putt. I miss it, I shoot even par. My goal was to fly across the country and shoot under par on a golf course. I did that. Minus one, hey, hey. It could have been a lot lower, also it could have been higher. But again, my goal this morning when I got up got up at 3.30 a.m. was to fly from Augusta to San Diego, find a golf course, play on that golf course, and shoot under par. And by golly, we did that. Man, that was a lot of fun. Um, hey, shout out to Goat Hill. I mean, Goat Hill, if you're ever in the area, come out here and play it. A lot of fun, just a good place. Hey, bring some friends, have a lot of fun. Fun and just enjoy your round of golf. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We got a lot more San Diego, California content coming. I'm telling you what, to set a goal and break it or accomplish the goal feels pretty good. And you guys were here to witness it and be with me on that journey. Hey, until next time, subscribe to the channel. See y'all.